Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania made huge move outside White House and is viciously ambushed by libs for it. First Lady Melania Trump made headlines again for her fashion choices. Rather than report actual news regarding any number of current events of importance that affect all Americans, the propagandists in the mainstream media chose to attack Melania for her choice of footwear, again. Photographers gathered at the White House as Melania stepped outside on the grounds to participate in the sapling plantation ceremony. For the ceremony, the First Lady donned a fancy floral skirt by Valentino along with pink Christian Louboutin stilettos. Seen holding a golden shovel, Melania planted an Eisenhower air oak sapling. The First Lady posted pictures of the ceremonial event and tweeted, I had the honor to contribute to the beautiful and historic at White House grounds today by planting a sapling from the Eisenhower oak. Thank you to at White House Street for organizing the hashtag presidential sites and to the previous first family descendants who joined us today. Perhaps for many, the outfit chosen by Melania to wear for gardening is an unusual one. However, consider that the planting of said oak sapling was largely a ceremonial gesture at a White House event heavily attended by the press. Melania is a former model that walked the catwalk for a living. Does it really strike anyone as that out of character? Or frankly any big deal? Yet the mainstream media continued to make a controversy over Melania's outfit choices. One publication made the comment that it might not be a great idea as one might get hurt in the process as the pencil heel might get stuck in the soil and the one might lose their balance. Or The Guardian noted after interviewing a gardening expert, heels can sink in the soil and strain your lower back while gardening. From The Guardian Actually, that's not a spade, it's a shovel, says the gardening expert Alice Fowler. I suspect she was given that in recognition of the fact that she was never going to put her foot on it in those shoes. Aside from the obvious issues, such as the propensity of stilettos to sink into the mud, Fowler is worried that Trump's footwear is problematic. If you are going to lean over and try to lift something quite heavy, that's a real strain on your lower back. Of course, the First Lady had no intention of leaning over and lifting anything. After sprinkling a couple of teaspoons worth of soil into the hole, she and her companions, also not dressed for gardening, walked off. Even the queen stays until the tree is watered in, Fowler says. As for that skirt, Fowler says, there is nothing wrong with wearing a skirt to garden in. Skirts are free moving. People have this sense that you need workwear to garden. But if it's not your style, you don't have to wear it. Maybe Trump decided she would just wear what she liked and that it was the tree and the mud that were inappropriate out there. After all, when she gardened in a plaid shirt, albeit a Balenciaga one, and converse, people laughed at the fact that the converse looked box fresh. Yet as evidenced by hordes of pictures, Melania is confident and comfortable in her heels, clearly having much practice in walking in such a shoe. If Melania had worn tennis shoes or even gardening clogs, the same press would by roaming around seeking to criticize Melania for being too comfortable or frumpy or some other such drivel. Some even speculate that Melania uses her outfits to make subtle, or not so subtle, statements about the current administration serving with her husband, President Donald Trump. Omarosa Managalt Newman wrote in Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House, that she believes Melania Trump uses style to punish her husband. Yet others simply admire her streamlined glamour, as designer Michael Kors described her style. Naturally, social media exploded with those wishing to heckle or troll creating controversy where there was none. Others posted to show their support of Melania. First ladies' outfits are not paid for by taxpayers, and designers often offer to dress them for free. Still, some pieces she has worn are available to buy, even if they are not exactly affordable for everyone. The mainstream media and the left continue to criticize the price tag of Melania's various outfits. As per reports, the pale pink Louboutins that Melania donned cost $690 and the Valentino skirt another $4,000. A wealthy person or a fashion model wearing expensive shoes and clothing are not news. That is normal. Neither is this. It's is not the first time that Melania's choice of clothing or even her gardening attire has been mocked. A 2017 picture of her gardening in spotless sneakers, sunglasses, and a $1,300 Balmain shirt inspired hundreds of memes from the left attempting to demean or belittle the First Lady by challenging how much she actually knew about gardening in the first place. Pink Villa stated this about Melania's wardrobe choice. The First Lady, Melania Trump is yet again ridiculed for her outfit of choice. Her highly tweeted blunder in June came when she wore a jacket that read I really don't care, do you? To visit a detention center for migrant children. 
Her most viral criticism came in August 2017 when she was spotted wearing high heels in a disaster zone while visiting victims of Hurricane Harvey. This time, it's not as seriously offending or disrespectful but it surely is a massive blunder. She wore heels to plant a sapling in a garden. The White House History Organization arranged for the First Lady and First Family descendants of American presidents to plant a sapling of an Eisenhower oak. This event saw Melania Trump wearing a pair of high heel pointy toed pink shoes as she held a shovel and dug the soil for the sapling. To add to the obnoxious choice of footwear, she also wore a pink top paired with a floral high waisted $4,000 Valentino pleated skirt to garden. Netizens on all social media platforms have been seen sending sarcastic, bashful comments to her inappropriate outfit. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.